which CAD software should I learn? Or which one is best among Katia, Yenex, Creo and SolidWorks? Hello guys, welcome to BRJ Mechanical Engineer channel. The most common asked questions of entry level engineers is which CAD software should I learn? If you ask your seniors, they will suggest you the software they are using. And if you ask me, then I will suggest you NX because I am using it. Next one, if you visit institutions and ask them, then they will suggest you according to software used by their recruiter companies. So again, which one is the best? The most common software suggestion from many institutions or seniors is Katia. So Katia is the best one of all. Is it like this? No. Only thing is we have number of openings with Katia and followed by NX Creo because many companies are using this software. Once we learn one software, then we become familiar with all the things of that CAD software. It will become very handy for us to use it without any trouble. And then we start getting jobs for other softwares rather than what we have learned. So we get disappointed. You have learned SOLIDWORKS for any reason and you want to work in automobile. Then you will trouble to get the job because very few companies or near about no companies are using SOLIDWORKS in automobile sector. Also the use of software has limitations according to industry or the complexity of the work. If you have very completed surface then you cannot work easily with solid edge or solid works. And if you have to deal with multiple numbers of solid parts then it's better to give preference to NX. So here are the criteria. First of all let us list this criteria. Number one, number of job openings comparatively. Second one, type of sector you want to work. Third one, if you have some good references depending upon software. So let us discuss this criteria. First, number of vacancies. You will find most of the opportunities with Katia and NX, followed by Creo and SolidWorks. You will find very less opportunities with Solid Edge and Inventor. Second, type of sector you want to work. Katia and NX are used for very large complex assemblies having many thousands of parts. You will see auto companies and aviation companies using Katia and NX. Katia has strong surface modeling and NX has strong solid modeling. Creo is used in health and medical related companies. Also in some automobile companies due to its strong parametric modeling. SolidWorks is more geared towards designing individual parts and relatively smaller assemblies. It is famous for its ease of use and it has more features for designing welds and joints. So most of heavy machinery companies use SolidWorks followed by Inventor. Third, if you have good references then learn those softwares used by your friends or seniors so that they will refer you to their companies. So after all, if you see according to number of job opportunities, here the ranking comes Katia, NX, Creo, then SolidWorks. So if you want to work in auto or aerospace field, then Katia or NX is the best option. If you want to work in medical or health related companies, then Creo is the best. And at last, if you want to work in heavy industries, then SolidWorks or Inventor is the best. I suggest always learn two softwares so that you will have multiple opportunities. That is, chances of getting the job are higher. According to this criteria, let's make final decision. We will learn two softwares. First one depending upon sector and second depending upon sector plus multiple job opportunities. So first decision is if you want to work in auto or aviation industry, learn both NX and Katia. Second one, if you want to work in healthcare industry, learn Creo and Katia. And third one, if you want to work in heavy industries, learn SOLIDWORKS and NX. And finally, if you don't have any sector specific reason, go for NX and Katia. You will not be disappointed. I think you got your answer. If you have any doubts, put in comments. And if you found this video useful, hit the like button and put your views in comment box. Thank you. Bye bye for now.